was Tuesday the 5th and that's when I noticed the crime had been committed. I just don't understand it. The last time I saw them they were together and now one of them is gone. It's like it's just vanished into thin air. It was like every other laundry day. It was about 5.35 p.m. And that was the last time I saw my socks together. So from the time where I loaded the washing machine to when I emptied it the next morning, it's like bang, and the sock was gone. There were only two other people in the flat, Daz and Priscilla, my flatmates. I didn't do it, I swear. I didn't even know how to use a washing machine. Mummy always does it for me when I go home every weekend. I do have some suspicions about Daz though. He's always seemed a little odd to me. I ain't seen that sock before. Wait, where'd you get that footage from? You've been in my room? There's a lot on the line here. I had no choice but to call the police. I'm um, Randy Whites, Metropolitan Police Detective and um, also Ariel's uncle. We have interviewed the potential suspects, scoured through all the evidence, and we're still no closer to finding out about the missing sock. This case is going to be tricky. I began to lose all hope, to be honest. And then we found something no one was expecting. We'd stumbled upon a conspiracy with the size and load that I had never witnessed. I had to get Daddy's lawyer friends involved. I swear, I don't jack off into socks. Do you guys believe me, right? I know it was one of you. Why would you think it's me? This was not how I was expecting it all to unfold. 